Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing. Hey, hey, ooh, slip, slip. Bah, bah, bah. With the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. I'm having, I'm, I'm having fun tonight. I'm having fun making videos because this is what I love doing. I love watching boxing. I love talking boxing. I love interacting with boxing fans. And it's an honor to be in front of you guys today. Now, let's talk about Deontay Wilder. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. He's got a big, big fight this week with Luis Ortiz. It's, it's a fight that should have happened in November. It didn't happen. You know, we, we've gone into the reasons why on this channel before. We don't need to get into them again. Um, but I but I was, I was sitting and I was thinking to myself, right? So, obviously, in my last Deontay Wilder video, I told you guys that there's things. And I, I can't reveal. I probably shouldn't have said it in the video. But there's things that I know about Ortiz. Um, at least how things are going early on in this camp. I don't know if they've changed, but you know that's why I'm not going to tell you guys what it is until after the fight. So after the fight, I'll tell you guys what it is that I knew. And if I if 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 Ortiz confirms those, if if, if Ortiz performs based on what I knew about his camp early on, then then it's gonna it's gonna look it's gonna then I'll tell you guys what it is. But uh, that's that's why I can't reveal it right now. But what I wanted to talk about this fight because. Um, I was thinking to myself, you know, because with, with boxing, you gotta consider every scenario. So I'm, I've, I've, I've considered what I consider what would happen if Wilder wins. Obviously, he'd move on to greener pastures and potentially fight maybe a mandatory fight next. You would be led to believe a mandatory fight next would be next because he'd have to fight the likes of a Dillian Wilder, not of Brazil. So I would expect a fight of that magnitude next, and then after that fight, maybe Joshua. Um. But I was thinking a couple of things myself. I was thinking one, if Luis Ortiz somehow beats Wilder, which is a possibility because he is the more skilled fighter. Um, the only things that we have to question is the age and, and will he be fit enough to 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 be to, to hurt this guy. Um, you know. So with that being said, uh, Deontay Wilder, should he lose to Ortiz, he's in danger of becoming fully. You know, and you guys may say this before, but he's fully in danger of becoming the next Michael Grant. Now, Michael Grant, as many of you guys may know, was a big, athletic bastard of a fighter, okay? He was on HBO. He was knocking out dudes left and right, okay? Um, then he ran into the likes of Lennox Lewis. I believe he even fought Golada, but, you know, he when he had that first real step-up fight with the likes of Lennox Lewis... Lennox Lewis put those hands on him, put his ass to sleep, and he was no more, and he was a hype job, exposed for a hype, being a hype job, and that's why Wilder's in danger of this week. It, it, it is judgment day for Wilder. Now, it's a big fight for him. Should he win, you know, it'd be massive. I, I, I fully expect him to look good in this fight based on what I know. Now, I could be dead wrong. You know, what I knew early on about Ortiz and Camp may have changed if they made adjustments. But if they have made adjustments, then they're in big trouble. So you see what I'm saying? So like, um, with Wilder, with Wilder uh, also, I also thought another thing to myself because he's fighting Ortiz and, and you know, all respect to him, Ortiz is a dangerous fighter, you know, so he's be he's behaved in some in some form or fashion like a champion for, for taking the fight. So you, you, got, you give him credit there where, it, where, where it's due. But... When you look at the fact that this man, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Windmill Wilder, turned down a $4 million offer to fly his six foot seven, you know, Cleveland Cavaliers shooting guard looking ass to the UK to, to go fight Dillian White, a guy who isn't as dangerous as Ortiz, who would have made him more money than Ortiz, who in the fight would have put him in the UK market again to have him. In the minds of the UK boxing fans, to fight Anthony Joshua, it would it, it, it would have expanded his brand, put more money in his pocket, and you know, the less dangerous fighter. He turned it down, and then you got to ask yourself, why would he turn it down? I don't know. Maybe he turned it down because his ego got in the way. His ego prevented him from going to the UK and doing what was the best business for his career. Maybe not the best in terms of opposition, but the best business now. He's fighting Ortiz, good on him. But um, if he loses, he has nobody to blame 
but himself because Eddie Hearn made this man a fantastic offer. He would have made a career high payday. He would have been in the UK. He would have had a chance to expand his brand to the fans out there who are going to watch him fight Joshua. And they would have made the fight even bigger. But no, he turned it down and he's fighting Luis Ortiz in an event that I would venture to say, and maybe I'm wrong, but I would venture to say it will struggle to sell out in New York City. And that's just that 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 that's that's just the fact of the matter. Um so with that being said, um, yeah, he's in danger of being exposed as a hype job. He's in danger of, you know, really just it not being a good look for him. And, and you know, Deontay Wilder, you gotta you gotta put things in its proper context. Deontay Wilder is a guy that has been trying to expand his brand. He's been very vocal in the media. He's been very vocal on social media. He's been very fun to watch. He was fun to watch in his last fight. I told you guys made the video. I like I like watching Deontay Wilder fight in person. It was electrifying to be there when he knocked out Stavern. But he's also a guy that's 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 on a reality show, Real Housewives of Atlanta. So you know he's he's desperate for attention, and 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 he was in a very great position. To, to make money and, and, and build his brand and, and, and he turned it down. So he better make sure he does his job as we go to Ortiz. And, you know, I'll say this about Wilder. Okay. Let's, let, let's give credit where credit is due. Now, when he fought Stavern in the first fight, right? In the first fight with Stavern, obviously he won a decision. Stavern um, was severely dehydrated from what I know about Stavern from a pretty damn good source. Stavern was, Overweight in camp, um, had to make a massive weight cut, which contributed to the dehydration problems he had in the ring, um, and it prevented him from putting from, from, from giving a better account of himself. But Wilder, in spite of that, you know he he won, he won regardless, and that was a that was his you know first real notable fighter that he fought um, in Stavern. So you give credit where credit is due. But I, what I will say is the, the biggest difference from the first to the second fight. And you could attribute this to maybe Severn being out of the ring for two years, not being in the best shape. But you give credit where credit is due. As time has went on, Deontay Wilder has learned how to fight as a tall man, as a six foot seven fighter. You know, he's he's over there. He's he's flicking that jab. He's flicking that jab, and and he's keeping you at bay. And he's keeping you at bay, and boom. And he's and 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 he's very he's varied the different array of punches. You know, you saw an uppercut. You saw you know. A straight. You even saw, um, you know, you, you saw kind. Of, you saw him pivoting. You saw him doing more in terms of his boxing footwork. And it, and, and his last fight with Severn wasn't as sloppy as you know fights in the past, like with Molina and Duapas and Spilka. You know, he has seemed to get better. Okay, and you got to give him credit. Credit is due. And I think this fight with Ortiz will really put those skills to the test. He's a taller man. He's taller than Ortiz, right? He's a taller man than Ortiz. He's, he, he's got tremendous speed on that jab. He was a born, God-given puncher. But Ortiz is, is, is a six foot four, at six foot four, superior boxer, superior pure boxer, superior jab, superior boxing technique. So what Wilder's got to do is he's got to win the battle of positioning. He's got to position himself to, to fight as a six foot seven. Athletic, the, the six foot seven athletic bastard that he is, you see what I'm saying. So if he can do that, um, I think that will lend credence to him, to to to, to him really improving because to do it against Tavern is one thing, but to do to do do it to do it against Ortiz is quite another. Even if it's an Ortiz that may be shot, an Ortiz that may be old, it's still Ortiz who had over 300 amateur fights and has a wealth of experience and has sparred with top heavyweights and has good boxing fundamentals. So we'll see where this goes, but. Yeah, um, he's Deontay Wilder. If he loses this fight, is in full danger of making himself look like a hype job, um, an ass clown, and someone who was very um, just egotistical. And and, and 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 that's just what it is, man. You know, it says in the Bible, not 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 to be not to be Pastor Brendan out here, but it does say in the Bible, "He who humbles himself will be exalted." So Wilder. Wasn't really humble, didn't take the Eddie Heron fight, pretty much, you know, was kind of egotistical with that. Um, he is fighting a better fighter, so you give him credit there, but he wasn't humble in his approach. So he may he may have to be, you know, humble, as many fighters in the past have, like Sergey Kovalev, as much as I, like, as I like him, he was cocky before the rematch with Ward, he was humbled. Um, 
and fighters of, the, of, of today and yesterday have been humbled throughout the course of boxing history, and he may just be the next one. So we'll see what happens, but I'm very excited to see what happens. Let me know what you guys think. Is Deontay Wilder going to become the next Michael Grant by the end of Saturday night? And uh, do you think his ego stopped him from taking what would have been a career-high payday against an inferior opponent in the market that's the best in boxing right now, which is also where the opponent he's supposed to fight in his career-defining fight is from, and it would have built a profile. Do you think he handled it all wrong? Let me know in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. Like I said in every video, man, you can love me or you can hate me. I really don't care if you hate me, but if you hate me, you know, go ahead. Hating is for free. If it, was, if it costs money, people will stop hating. But I'm just a kid from Dania. That's Dania in South Florida. So get your damn geography out if you don't know what Dania is. And, and, and until next time, you know, take care, guys.